Yo, 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 it's Jumpman T with Twist Torch TV. I'm back again. Turn me up in your headphones loud and clear for the people in the background. We got another one on the way. This time, we're going to do a potential trade option. Um, I'm looking for the Chicago Bears. I'm trying to see what they're going to do with Justin Fields. Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? What you got for Justin Fields? Um, they hold the first pick. They also hold the ninth pick in this year's draft. Um, one coming from the Panthers and their own pick, potentially. So, let's see how that's going to work. Uh, Caleb Williams did take for the draft. There's other QBs that can be top five picks. So let's see how the Bears want to maneuver with Justin Fields. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, keep boarding the algorithm. Um, and let's get right to it, right? <laughs> Appreciate all the support as always. Check out my merch to Switch TV. Justin Fields, Ohio State product, 6'3", 228 pounds, from the A, 2025 in March. Um, 23, 13 games played, completed 61% of his passes, uh, 2,500 yards, 16 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 124 carries, 657 yards, rushing 5.3, average 4 touchdowns and 3 forced fumbles. So, hey, we look at this dynamic, Justin Fields will be um, <clears throat> pivotal if we can get him, especially in what, but it's about what we can get him for. What would you want to spend for Justin Fields? I'm good on a first round pick, quite frankly. Um, I'm cool with getting giving them two second rounders, uh, 23 and 24, to get them right. <laughs> or 24 and 25 to get them right. I'm cool with that. As far as the first round pick, I can't do that. Um, Justin Fields is still a product. But when you put pieces around him and give him an offensive line, he's going to be spectacular. So imagine him coming back home and playing for his city. Yeah, we didn't draft him at one point, but we got pieces around him for him to be able to jail going into his new contract. We have the money to pay him. <laughs> we will pay you. No no worries about that. And the city, we're in the bright lights. You don't have to deal with the cold. You can come home and deal with the dome and, you know, play three or four games outside a year compared to playing outside every day, every week. That's, that's tough for you, I'm sure. But when you add that running game, um, the QB option, the re-option, what was our best play for the offense last year in the red zone? Go ahead and let him know, Twisted. It was read option. <laughs> so when you add Justin Fields, who's a lot better than Desmond Ritter as far as running the football, and you add him to Bijan, that's going to make a different level as far as that option with him and Tyler Algier. The running game would take off. Uh, I like Vic, Vic 2.0. <laughs> and that's what you want as far as uh, chances to, to take the next level. If you look at how we lost games last year, it was on offense. Um, a lot of turnovers, a lot of interceptions and key moments. Uh, yeah, Justin Fields fumbles the ball at times. It may turn over the ball at times, but that's turning over with a terrible offensive line at one point. So as the team got better, he got better. And it showed with his stats in this year compared to year 22 when he uh, completed 60% for uh, two or 2,300 yards, 17 touchdowns, 11 INT. So uh, touchdowns went out down two. He did rush for a lot of yards in 22, though. He went, he went for over 1,000 yards, eight touchdowns. So, yeah, so like – it, it, it rares, but when you see a player that's dynamic on both sides, like running the ball and throwing the ball, you have to take that chance. And, yeah, I like the draft. I do like Kirk Cousins, but Justin Fields is dynamic. 25 years old. Turns 25 in March. Imagine what he can do for the fans, for the team. You you will have fans in that stadium if you get Justin Fields. Am I lying? Let me know if I'm lying in the comments, guys. You will have fans if you get Justin Fields ASAP. So I would look, I would look for a chance with that. You get a QB coach, you get an um, a officer coordinator that can work well with Justin Fields, get, the sky's the limit. And quite frankly, they don't have a choice but to trade him or trade the pick. You got one or the other. <laughs> and honestly, I think they're going to trade Justin Fields instead of the pick based on how that press conference went. He didn't seem like he was staying. Um, he pretty much showed the fans love and said he appreciated him. So come to the A. We got love for you, man. And we got the Brazil. So come holler at Arthur Blank. Come holler at Rich McKay. Come holler at the uh, African-American GM and Terry Fontenot and see what we can do for you. <laughs> we got the pieces. And we, we just need another office alignment. Get you another receiver. Quick receiver. And, hey, go get Johnson from the Steelers. If you get a QB, you can go get Johnson. I pay him 12, 13 mil a year. Quick routes. Knows how to play slot inside out. That will be a key pickup if you can get a QB to help assist this offense. Let me know how you feel in the chat about getting Justin Fields and maybe the receiver Johnson from the Steelers. Appreciate all support as always, man. Make sure you check out the website, Twitch Torch TV. Leave a comment, show support. Jumpman T, peace.